I do not believe that an education of the heart can be imparted through books. It can only be done through the living touch of the teacher. That's Gandhi on September 1st, 1921. When my son Josh was about eight years old, somebody asked him one time, is your father a doctor? And he said, yes, he's a doctor of books. So this one really cuts pretty uh, close to me personally. I was a professor, a doctor of books, for a long, long time, and uh, I actually did believe that all information, all useful understanding of the world was through the intellect. And there was a fundamental incompleteness that underlay that belief, an incomplete theory of what a human being is, what I am. I was uh, brought up to believe that the highest achievement of the human being was intellectual, and unfortunately that meant that people were not equal. That was a hard one to kind of adjust to and, and live with because intuitively I felt that people were equal. So then came the day when my teacher, Eknath Ishwaran, was giving us a talk in the meditation room at the university, and he said something about the limitation of the intellect that really went home to me. And so I went up to him after the talk, and I said, uh, gee, Ishwin, uh, what you said about the intellect, it really struck me because, you know, here I am. I've considered myself, for whatever justification, I've considered myself an intellectual practically my whole life. And he said very calmly, uh, yes, Michael, I, d I did also. That was how he was. He always was uh, putting you on an equal footing, making you feel good, and then delivering the punchline. <laughs> and the punchline in this case was, and then I found out that it was not solving my problems. So that, that was like a cloud bursting apart in my mind because I had been trying to not face up to the fact that my intellect was not solving my problems. It was a devastating fact when I thought that the intellect was the highest capacity, the most powerful change mechanism that I had. The control mechanism was the intellect. So when he said that he discovered it wasn't, he was implying, and he had already made it pretty clear, that we have a much deeper capacity than thought, than the capacity to think and that is the capacity of direct awareness. So while it was extremely challenging, it was also kind of a life-changing opening for me that I wasn't stuck with the capacities that I was born with. There was one capacity that could be developed almost to an infinite extent, and it was, in fact, the most important capacity that we human beings possess and that is the capacity to become aware of reality, particularly in this case, the reality of other human beings. <laughs> ¶¶